Okay guys, what we're doing here uh, has to do with a Canway gasifier stove, uh, a stick stove that I carry in my bag all the time. And uh, what I've always thought of is, as I had mentioned in the past, if you're, if you're stranded uh, for a number of days, just a scenario, but uh, the problems with most of this is, uh, in my opinion, uh, yes, you can have food for a three, four, five day period, uh, but as far as uh, food for long term and even stealth camping or just trying not to be seen regardless of the situation, uh, I found that these Canway stoves, very cheap, they're less than 20 bucks uh, on eBay, uh, even Amazon, and uh, you can purchase these. Uh, shipping included uh, for under 25 bucks and you never run out of fuel uh, you can see right here that I've got uh, uh, several bundles of sticks and what I'm trying to do is uh, if it comes to uh, a matter of just getting by let's say that you've got 20 pounds of beans uh, and I'll, I'll go through the figures on this later but first I need to prove to myself uh, the viability and the ease of use as far as actually getting by, if, you know, if you if you had an emergency situation, uh, and I did a little bit of research, and uh, the best way to, to cook beans, regardless of how you're cooking them, of course, is to soak the beans. Uh, they they stated that you should uh, boil the beans for a 10 minute period. Uh, once you get it to roll and boil, boil for 10 minutes, then let it sit for five and a half hours, and uh, so I've tried this. Uh, I brought it to a boil with this Canway gasifier stove, and uh, I've let it soak for five and a half hours. They say that you can put it on a, a rolling boil or a low boil for two and a half hours after soaking for the 5.5 hours, and uh, your beans will be just uh, perfect. So what I'm trying to find out is how much fuel it takes to actually keep this going for uh, the period of time to complete these beans and uh, like I said I'll, I'll have some figures on this and um, what is feasible uh, for use and then a few of my ideas that I'll share afterward but just bear with me and uh, we'll see I don't know that I can get this where you can see it at the moment but uh, here are the beans after I've poured off the uh, original water let them soak for five and a half hours and now I'm going to find out how long it takes to bring this to a boil and keep it for the period of time to actually uh, cook a pot of beans well done. And I've got a horrendous cold I've had for about two weeks, so I'm not sure how well my voice is coming across on camera. See if we can get this rolling again. I've talked long enough that uh, I've jeopardized my fire, but we'll get it here. This gasifier stove really does a wonderful job. You just see that a few sticks along. Put those right there. We'll bring this back to life in just a moment and we'll resume. Oh yeah. Immediately, right back at it. Now I'll watch that a little closer while we talk. But here's one of my thoughts on these these things. Uh, I agree with almost everything that I've seen out there as far as get home bags. You know, I've mentioned this before. Uh, I'm just uh, all but addicted to uh, uh, what people have for good ideas of use. And there's none of them that are particularly bad, especially on the short term. Uh, but as far as my fears have always been long term always been you know I'm, I'm not a prepper uh, I'm not always uh, 
mulling in my mind, shit hits the fan, you know. Uh, things happen. We'll live life. We'll try to get by, regardless. But I'd like to be prepared somewhat. And uh, you can see how well that this is burning now. It's uh, just does a wonderful job for no more than these things cost. And we're getting quite near a boil already. But uh, the ability to, to stay healthy, eat long term, have something that won't uh, go bad on you, uh, something that's easy to keep up with. You know, if you if you put uh, uh, 50 pounds of beans in a, a few plastic buckets, uh, they're going to last. All you have to do is make sure that you can uh, have access to them. They're going to last. Most things out there. Uh, Including even even the fire sources is what I started to mention. Um, if you have uh, some source that you're dependent on purchasing, unless you buy a large amount of it, whether it's butane, whether it's these fire bricks, doesn't matter. When they're gone, you may be uh, depending on what you're using in a bit of a tight. This thing, there are dead sticks. You don't have to have a hatchet. You don't have to have a, a saw. You don't have to split any wood. Uh, you have to work at this in order to keep that fire rolling, but a 12-year-old child can can locate dried sticks and make this thing work. That's the amazing part to me. Move this from the back side. And as I stated earlier, one of my uh, Desire is just to know just exactly how many small bundles of stick it, sticks as it will take to bring a pot of beans to a boil long enough uh, to have good food out of them. They also mentioned, which I had stated earlier, but if you boil these beans for 10 minutes, let them soak for five and a half hours, and you pour off the water, it also, the, the gas producing uh, issues you run into with your stomach. Uh, that alleviates a big portion of that. You pour off that first boil and put fresh water to cook them and it reduces the, uh, the like I said, the gasification of your intestines. Speaking of gasifiers. Now, we are definitely at a rolling boil. And I brought with me There we go. I brought with me good boil. I brought with me a, a container of water so that I can add to this as it cooks down. And uh, for what it's worth the uh, this is one of my dipping projects after I had seen my uh, daughter got somewhat interested in it and uh, just a little bit of gold and brown paint and a bucket of water. Uh, I'll have to show you one of these days. You've probably seen it online. But you spray the uh, top of the water in a bucket with just cans of spray paint, a couple of different colors, swirl it with a stick and then dip this container in it. Uh, I had the lid taped off so that it uh, wouldn't get paint all over it. And I thought it turned out pretty sharp. Unique, anyway. And we're at about a uh, five minute boil. So I'm gonna cut this off uh, for a few minutes, let this cook, and I'll get back with you. Bear with me. Okay, after about 30 minutes worth of burn here, boil, I'm going to add some water to this. I just want to make sure I keep the surface covered. The top of the beans covered with water. And that's very important.
And I'm swapping back and forth between cameras here. I'm not sure how well my sound will be able to uh, transmit to the cameras. Uh, it's quite late. The humidity is really high today. Uh, they said 88% humidity. Uh, and they said it would be a high of 88 and feel like 97. But I think we probably hit uh, maybe a 93 and feels like 104. But it's uh, 7.30. It's August. August the 4th, and uh, it's just blister hot. I'm glad the sun is down below the, the tree line because it's uh, a pretty rough day as far, as far as temperature. Go ahead and add a few more sticks. I had 11 bundles of these sticks just for starter to see what I would get into. And I believe that we'll have beans long before this 11 bundles is up. Break them in small pieces. Seed is as, as it's needed. And it just does an amazing job. Each time the fire flares, it seems like it puts off a fair amount of smoke, but uh, really compared to anything else, it's so minimal. Uh, I'm up under a large set of trees here, and I don't think uh, out beyond these trees the smoke would be seen at all. And for me, when it comes to thinking about stealth, uh, that's important. And like I said, not having a hatchet, a saw, I have those things, but you don't have to use them in order to cook. Uh, stay somewhat unseen if you're careful. And uh, take care of what you need to. Literally just dead sticks off the ground. Dead tree branches. It's amazing how much you can make in just a few minutes. Okay, that's starting to look pretty good. Still have a ways to go, but they're they're softening up quicker than I thought they would. And I'll tell you, we're starting to uh, to get some really low light uh, in the evening. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cook these down, and I'll get back with you in a few minutes and fill you in on uh, how things went. <laughs> 